Now, the guy standing behind the bench, but where you can see him in the frame where Edster is lifting the weight, who also is there to support him <laughs> if he couldn't complete the 400 pounds, right? Okay, he's called the spotter, right? <laughs> And that's why he's in the frame or the picture too, or, or video too. Mm -hmm. His job is if Edster couldn't get it up the one time, which is his max weight, mm -hmm. okay, he can help him or assist him if he needed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, either way, both men have to deal with the weight being 400 pounds, right? So both the spotter and the lifter have to be able to do so much weight to be the spotter and the lifter. Mm -hmm. Now, like I told you, typically a good weight for anyone is between 180 to 250 pounds, right? That's over the weight of a man, even if he's obese, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Or an average size man. <laughs> and you're just doing a bitch press, right? <laughs> right? It's, you should be able to do more than you can lift over your head, right? Most people can't even lift their body weight over their head. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they might can do up to, say, maybe 150, right? And even then, that's if they're in shape, right? Mm -hmm. And that has to do with curling and things like that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, the thing about bodybuilding, though, is you're tearing down your muscles, right? And you got to do that every other day, not every day, or you're not going to have time to rebuild the vessel either. Either That could be a bad thing, too. Mm -hmm. Lifting too much weight, even if you're, you can do it or not, right, can be a problem, too. Because mm -hmm. you're not being smart about it, right? <laughs> Some of you might even be on steroids, right? <laughs> Which can be used badly, right? Mm -hmm. And again, <laughs> this is most bodybuilders who lift weight. Mm -hmm. And all I'm doing is giving you advice in about what to do you know, <laughs> and how to do it, right? And that Edster was right to do it with a... Um, Spotter because you have to do it that way, right? <laughs> and the more weight after 250 you put on, right? You might could, if you're really in shape, do 250 without a spotter, right? I'm being honest, right? But anything more than that, you need a spotter, right? <laughs> in case you have a moment of weakness because you're going for max weight. When you're going for max weight, you you only have to lift it one time. Right. But if you never lifted that much weight before, even that, you got to build up to it and uh, to do it the one time. Right. Now, usually you need to do at least 200 pounds, right, over 30 times before you can even think of doing 400 pounds, right? And that's what I mean, too, right? Mm-hmm. And that's the whole problem. Right. You can't make up how people who know you're supposed to bitch press can bitch press. <laughs> and you sound like you're making it all up <laughs> and don't even know what you're talking about and don't have a clue, right? Of how the exercise works. Now, you might understand, oh, well, you lay on a bench and you push the bench from your arms back up, right? 
and you bring the weight down onto your chest and then go back up. That part, anyone can understand. But the more weight on the bench press you have, the more you can hurt yourself, especially in your neck area. Mm -hmm. The bench press is considered the most dangerous of all the bodybuilding exercises you can do. Right. It's more dangerous than the press. It's military press, the curl. Right. The reverse curl. Even the back military press. Right. Is almost the second worst could be the um, leg um lifts where you're using the bar mm -hmm. light in the um bench press right <laughs> and you're putting the bar on the back of your neck right <laughs> things like that can hurt you those two exercises are considered the worst though in mm -hmm, bodybuilding mm -hmm. now if you're using the pressing machine with the leg press right that's better than the one where you have to use the bar and the weight. Right. Because again, the more weight you put on there, the more you got to deal with it for your whole body. And if you mess up, you can hurt yourself. You can hurt yourself. And the two most dangerous things to do is the bench press or the um, leg press. Right. With the barbell. With the barbell of the weight. Yeah. And even with that, you still don't want to go over 200 pounds, right? Because of the nature of the weight, right? And how it's distributed. That's why a 400-pound push-up is safer for you than a 400-pound barbell lift, right? Bitch press, right? That's all I'm saying, no, no. I ain't saying it wasn't good that Edster didn't do the lift. I know. I ain't trying to put him down. I'm just trying to say he had a spotter, right? And that's why I can't do it at my house. I don't have a spotter, right? And you got to trust your spotter too, right? <laughs> Another problem is you got to trust the person who's supposed to lift the weight for you or again, right? You might get in trouble and you're talking 400 pounds, right? That can kill somebody, right? And you sound like you want to blame me for knowing better than to do it. <laughs> at all, at all. <laughs> Without a proper spider, right? And see, if you're the one put me up to it, I know, your problem with me ain't the bitch press. <laughs> your problem is something else. <laughs> Has nothing to do with the bitch press. <laughs> It has to do with your obscure way of looking at things, right? And you make it a mountain from a molehill. 